What is up PSG family and welcome back to our Chicago Bulls Dynasty mode. Simmed ahead a little bit as you can see at this point we are 14 and 8 so we're looking like one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference. To prove that let's take a look at the standings and you will see for yourself that we are currently the third seed at 14 and 8. So not too bad at all I guess our point guard and our free agency signings have done wonders for this team. Now with that being said let's take a look at this record one more time or excuse me the schedule because it's pretty weird this is a very very weird schedule now i don't know what's going on but look at november we got a back to back to back then we have a bunch of back to back so i don't know what it is with nba live 19 scheduling system but this needs to be improved in nba live 20 because that is a crazy looking schedule right there man there is no team in the league that is playing back to back to backs anymore or ever has unless it was that one season where there was that little lockout but ever since then, I have not seen one, so hopefully that improves. Now we got the Sacramento Kings on our home court, and the reason we're playing the Kings, you see it for yourself, they signed Kevin Durant in the offseason. And not only did they sign Kevin Durant, they became one of the best teams in the NBA upon signing him with a record of 15-3, and so they are the best team in the Western Conference. So this is going to be a great matchup. We got one of the best teams in the East versus the best team in the West. Which really surprised me considering Kevin Durant. We have no idea where he's going to go in the offseason. Most people are saying New York. I don't even know if the Sacramento Kings have enough money to make an offer for Durant. But, I mean, we'll see. I mean, he went to the Kings on NBA Live. NBA Live can be a little bit crazy with their simulation and their offseason. But we'll see, man. Now, Landon Kendall starting this one out with a big-time dunk. I don't know who that was on. De'Aaron Fox? No, that wasn't on Fox. I don't know. Whoever it was, they got to get out of the way because Lando Kendall don't play. Look at this. He has seven points going with a free throw. Eight points. All of our eight points currently are belonging to Landon Kendall. So he's been killing it. Now, Kevin Durant says, I got you right back. Nails down to three, and that makes it a one-point game. Now, a little bit of high-low action. Wendell Carter gets them inside to mark it in the future big man of the Chicago Bulls doing their thing as Durant drives to the rim one more time. Now, you see he's wearing number 34, man. I actually had to change it and give him number 34 because for whatever reason, he signed on as number 50. As every player seems to be coming on to a new team, they're all wearing number 50. So I'm like, let me make it somewhat realistic. Let me give him 34. Because Marvin Bagley is on the team and he's already wearing number 35. I just went with 34 for Kevin Durant. So that's why he is wearing that number in case you guys are wondering. So it's 11 to 17 holding on to a six point lead. Some great defense right here. It's Landon Kendall trying to close out this first quarter. Going up strong with a nice little Euro step. Finishing with that left hand to give us an eight point lead. He has 12 points in this game. I'm telling you guys, man. Drafting this rookie, making that trade, getting that number one overall pick has completely changed our timeline. Like maybe if I drafted some rando, I don't remember what pick I was going to get. Because we did make the playoffs, so it was going to be like the 16th or the 17th pick. Had I drafted some random guy at a random position, we probably would not be here at this point. Right, this team is going crazy just because we got ourselves a star point guard. Now Zach Levine, a little pull-up mid-range jumper, knocks that one down, gives us a six-point lead. Now we're deep in this second quarter right now, and it's a six-point game. And look at Marcus Smart, the tough layup right there, gets the and one bucket. He is hype about it. Getting the ball right back, Daddy's Young stuck in this corner a little bit and eventually gets it inside to Zach Levine, who throws up the little lefty layup off the backboard to give us a five-point lead. Now Buddy Heal, the deep three ball, knocks that down. He has five points in this game. So eventually the Kings would tie it back up at 25 apiece. With about three minutes to go, Wendell Carter Jr. kicks it out to Markinen. That boy has been a laser starting out this season. He knocks down his first three of the game. But look at Markinen being aggressive, going up strong. Tough move right there as he has seven points in this game. So we have a little three-point lead. Markinen says, I'm going to pull again. And this dude is on fire. So that's good. That's what we need right now. Marking it needs to be going off. As he pulls another one, unfortunately, he was missed. He would miss that one as the Kings come back in transition. That's KD right there pulling up and knocking it down. He has 11 points for the Kings. So you can see his effect already, man. He was doing his thing. Now the second quarter is coming to an end. About 18 seconds left to go. We try to get an easy bucket on the inside. That's Kylo Quinn on that one to give us a four-point lead. 
So let's go into the second half right now as we're holding on to this three-point lead. Some great defense at the rim. Landon Kendall says, I'm going all the way. What a tough layup. That actually went in. It's kind of surprising to me. Take a look at this. I thought this was going to roll out. Typically, these roll out, but you know what? That dude went up strong. Did his thing. I'm surprised. As we're still holding on to a three-point lead, we will turn the ball over. The Kings coming down in transition right now. That's KD on another pull-up. Those pull-up jumpers from KD are deadly. He don't miss. He does not miss those. So it's a one-point game in our favor. And landing Kendall. Is he really doing that? Take a look at this one more time. I was not even trying to shoot this. I was trying to use a screen. But look at this. As soon as the screen comes over, I do, I do a little step back. And De'Aaron Fox is lost. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just take that. Knocks that one down. Landing Kendall. Let's go. This dude is crazy. I love it. So it's a four-point game right now as they would get a quick layup right there. That's De'Aaron Fox on that one. That makes it a two-point game. We would need a timeout. KD misses that jumper, thankfully, and Kali Stein misses the easy putback. We're getting kind of lucky so far, man. Zach Levine in transition beats everybody to finish strong with that lefty finish. He has six points in this game. So another mid-range jumper miss for the Kings. They've kind of went cold late in this third quarter. And we're throwing up oops. Meanwhile, we're just having a grand old time. Landon Kendall finishes that one. Now they would eventually get it down to a two-point game once again. But Wendell Carter Jr., the big man, doing his thing for his first two points of the game. So he's had a pretty quiet night, but he came up right there. So KD forced to pick up his dribble. Eventually turns the ball over as Landon Kendall dumps it inside to Wendell Carter. Who kicks it back out to Markin and for the green release. Larry Markin has been doing his thing all game long. So now we got a seven point lead and we're just being aggressive. Look at this. We are playing these passive passing lanes beautifully as Wendell Carter Jr. gets the N1 bucket, giving us a nine point lead. Can we look at that one more time? I want to look at the pass. Look at this. Beautiful bounce pass. Little up fake. There's a foul. Hitting me on the body as Wendell Carter Jr. would go to the free throw line. So into the fourth quarter we go, just starting out. They get a good look for a three, but they would miss. However, Wendell Carter Jr., excuse me, Willie Colley Stein, these guys with three names, man, gets that one to go in. KD pull up mid-ranger. Yes, sir. He has been an assassin for them all game long. He has 23 points, so clearly that free agent signing is very, very well turning out for them. Now, Wendell Carter Jr., a huge finish right there to give us that eight-point lead. And the Kings would not go away. They were being very annoying, man. Very persistent. They refused to just go away. But Zach Levine, a wide open three. A perfect release three. I don't know why he's so open. And that gives us a nine-point lead. So we're about under four minutes to go right now. Look at that beautiful pass to Markinen, who finishes strong with two hands. They're sending the double teams over to Landon Kendall at this point. I don't know why. Because I got shooters all around this man. So, I mean, he is fully loaded. Guys are ready to shoot. Now... Nikola Mirotic would miss that three ball right there. And the King said, this is our time to make this comeback. It's make or break for them. If they don't make this comeback now, this game is likely a wrap. Now, Mirotic has to pull up the deep three because of the shot clock winding down. He would miss it. And you can see the Kings coming back in transition. A tough layup. And that makes it a five-point game. So the Kings not going away just yet. Landon Kendall has the wide open lane. Kicks it out to Thaddeus Young. A big time three ball from Thaddeus Young. That makes it an eight-point game. We needed that. So we're about a minute to go left in this game. It's a six-point game. And back come the Kings. A tough layup right there. Kevin Durant doing his thing. And that makes it a four-point game. So I'm coming right back. We need a good shot. We want to put these guys out. Now, Larry Markkinen gets a good look for three. And he misses. So back come the Kings. They can either make this a one-point game or a two-point game. So they go inside for an easy layup, and they missed the layup. Are you serious? So we come back. We wasted so much time off the clock right now. Five seconds left to go on the shot clock. We're passing it back and forth, looking for a good shot. Kendall puts it up, and he misses. But look at this. He comes up with a steal, puts up the layup, and he misses that one as well. So four-point game, about 13 seconds to go. We're trying to lock up right here, not give him a good look. And you can see they are struggling to find a good shot, almost as always, man. They would miss that, and they would have to foul us, but we get away from the fouls, man. We walk away with this W. We sneak away 
with this W, man, because no one scored in the final minute, which ended up being very good for us, man. So we walk away with a W, beating the best team in the Western Conference. So with that being said, man, what a game. What a good game. That was fun. Thank you guys for watching this video. As always, man, if you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time.